Now that we know how to make heat maps and bar charts, we still have other visualizations that might help us drill down a little bit further into the information that could be useful for policymakers. Specifically, in this video, you're going to learn how to create a different type of bar chart that tracks the migration by each year. So for this one, we're going to create a new worksheet. So to do so, we go ahead and hover over the first miniature worksheet that has a plus symbol to it and we click on that creating a new sheet and we'll start with the state so we can go ahead and hover over the state to get our pill click on it once and drag it to columns again we have the same ABC format come through the first time and that's fine we're gonna get to see a couple things that go different as we add additional data for analysis we're going to stick with the demonstration using the net number of exemptions, but now we're going to move to the net number of exemptions for each of the years. So we can go ahead and hover over the net number of exemptions for 1112, and we can pull that up. And it says sum, but it doesn't really matter because we only have one measure per year for each of the states. It automatically put it into a bar graph for us, which is just another way to visualize it besides our heat map or the bar chart that we did where we had them aligned based on highest to lowest. But we want to look at this for the states that have the highest and lowest. So off of the last bar chart that we created, I can see that California, New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, and Illinois are the states where I gain the most amount of people from. And Nevada, Texas, Washington, Oregon, and Virginia are the five states where I lose the most people to. So here, let's start with where we gain the most people from. And I have the net number of exemptions. And I want to filter out all the states except for those five where we gain people from. So I can go ahead and hover over my state again and move it over to filters. And when I do so, I see that all of the states are selected. Go ahead and click on none, and then select just those states that have the most individuals coming from those states into Hawaii. So California, Connecticut, Illinois, New Jersey, and New York. Once we have the states that we want to have selected, hit apply, and then click on OK. We want to see this pattern for all five years, so now we need to grab the rest of the net exemptions and we can drag those up to our rows. And while this is somewhat useful, we can find an even better form for reporting this if we click on show me. And then we select this bar chart, which is a side-by-side -side bar chart. And what we can start to glean now from this information is, did we have an unusually high year of migration from a particular state? Is it kind of accumulative? Are we seeing an increasing pattern of migration or a decreasing pattern of migration over time? So what we see for California is that we have a high migration up until the last year, whereas Connecticut, we seem to have a fairly steady rate of, con of migration in each of those years. So this is pretty interesting, but we also probably want to look at the lowest five. So here, we can go ahead and rename this sheet. And we don't have to recreate the sheet. We can go ahead and do the same thing that we've done earlier by copying and then pasting. And in this case, we're going to find the lowest. So here, to change it to the lowest, we would then need to go back to our filters and edit our filter. We can go ahead and click on none again, and the five lowest states again are Nevada, or the states where we lose the most people to, Texas, Washington, Oregon, and Virginia. 
And what we see here is something similar to what we saw for the highest states, where now we can start to evaluate whether we have an increasing trend of migration, whether we have some steady straight, uh, steady stream of migration coming from a particular state like we do with Virginia, or whether we have an unusually high year that seems to be driving the overall loss of people to various states. And then that might help policymakers start to think about whether there was any events in their state history that drove migration in a particular time. Now that we have our heat map, our original bar chart, and also some drilled down information for the states, we might want to create a storyboard or a dashboard for our policymakers. To create the dashboard, we would hover over the second plus option here to find the new dashboard. And now when we have a dashboard selected, we can drag over onto our dashboard each of the previous charts that we have created. And we'll have the option of putting them side by side, one on top of the other, and so on and so forth. So what we might wanna see here is just playing around with this to find out what ends up looking the best from a dashboard perspective for illustrating the data. So if we wanna show the five highest and the five lowest, these dashboards carry over the names that we gave. So if we don't like the name, like this one has a two in it, we can go ahead and rename that, take it rid of the two at the end, and that'll automatically update our dashboard. We also still have the option of drilling down and we can filter what observations we show within each of these as we're presenting. Again, if the policymaker asks a question about the AGI versus the exemption, we still have the option to sort based on that, and we can filter within each of these as well in our dashboard so that we have a very interactive presentation style um, that will help our clients understand the data that we have had the opportunity to analyze and what it may mean for them for their decision-making purposes.